in the end, I think there's only one scene that didn't get in the movie, which was the break into the gun club. And again, it's hard sometimes to say, well, it's about pacing, it's about it slowed things down. But I think most of all, you know, I, I, you know, I come out of advertising and I thought one way of, of actually, you know, showing the security system was, was using laser beams, you know, which wasn't real. <laughs> but you, you put laser beams in there and you put smoke and you can actually see them. So that was a first. That was a first, you know, and since then it's been used and abused. So I feel proud that I was the first guy to put it to, you know, put it on film in terms of, in terms of a movie. Um, and I think in the end the boys felt it was a little too removed from reality. Um, it was a little too high tech, a little too glossy, even though everything else was glossy, but this seemed to be just one step, one step too far away from, from reality. Yeah, so that in the end I think was the reason we actually pulled it. Wait a minute, what? Some invisible grid of laser beams bouncing back and forth on mirrors. Come on. Seriously. If you step on the light, you'll make the alarm go off. Tag, did you get any of your cigars? Yeah. Blow some smoke in here. That won't be a problem. I don't see anything. Go to it, Sarge. Something he does very well. <coughs> Better now. See? Whoa. If we'd have broke the beam, we'd made the alarm go. I'd have stepped right in there. Don't you feel like Flint? <laughs> Look, we have to um, straddle the beams. Because if you touch the beam, the alarm will go off, okay? Right. And nobody step on the light. And tag, keep blowing the cigar smoke. <clears throat> okay. Knock yourself out, Sarge. That was, that was really fun. We had a lot of fun shooting that. Of course, Eddie was real adept at really smooth about um, sneaking through these laser lines, and John and I were <laughs> trying to climb over them, not setting them off. It was pretty comic. 